Let us continue with our journalization examples. On December 1st, ABC bought a vehicle for 100,000 in exchange for notes payable. The purchased vehicle will provide benefits to the business over future periods, so it is recorded as an asset. The notes payable is a written promise by the business to pay back a debt, in addition to interest over a stated period of time. So, the accounts affected by this transaction are the vehicle's account, which is an asset account, and the notes payable account which is a liability account. The purchased vehicle increases the vehicle's account by 100,000. ABC did not pay in cash for the vehicle. Instead, it handed a promissory note over to the supplier, so the notes payable increases by the same figure. Using the debit and credit matrix, the increase in the vehicle account is debited, and the increase in the notes payable account is credited. On December 15th, ABC paid 8,000 salaries to its employees. The accounts affected by the transaction are the salaries expense account and the cash account. The salaries expense increases by 8,000, and the cash account decreases by the same figure. Using the debit and credit matrix, the increase in salaries expense is debited and the decrease in cash is credited. On December 31st, ABC received electricity bills of 4,000, but will pay the bills during the following month. Here, the accounts affected by the transaction are the electricity expense account, and the accounts payable account. The electricity expense account increases by 4,000, and because ABC will not pay the bills right now, the accounts payable account increases by the same figure. Using the debit and credit matrix, the increase in the electricity expense account is debited, and the increase in the accounts payable account is credited. On December 31st, ABC paid cash dividends of 1,000 to Mr. Stick. Dividends are the profits distributed to the owners of the business. Accountants use the retained earnings account to record the dividends paid to the owners. Recall that the retained earnings account increases by the profits generated by the business, and decreases by the losses incurred by the business, and the dividends paid to the owner. Here, the accounts affected by the transaction are the retained earnings account, and the cash account. The retained earnings account decreases by 1000, and because ABC paid the dividends in cash, the cash account decreases by the same figure. Using the debit and credit matrix, the decrease in the retained earnings account is debited, and the decrease in the cash account is credited. Now that we are done with the journalization examples, the next step in the accounting cycle is to post the entries in the journal to the ledgers. Please check that in the following video.